Welcome to an overview for teachers of the User Management System from amenglish.com. The User Management System tracks student activity inside the English Skills Series programs. Here are the steps to get started. Step 1. Accept the email invitation. Just click on the link in the email invitation. Step 2. Change the temporary password by entering a new one and clicking on Reset Password. Step 3. You can enter your students in two ways. The first method is to prepare and upload a CSV file. Each student record needs four items. First name, last name, email address, the number of courses allowed. Each item goes in a separate field. Here's an example prepared in Excel. In Excel, to save as a CSV file, click on Save As, then select Other Formats. That will open a familiar dialog box. You can choose where to save the file. Then click on the down arrow in the Save As field. Scroll down to the comma separated values or comma delimited type CSV and select. After you prepare your student file, you can submit it by logging in to your UMS User Management System account. Just go to www.amenglish.com. Select Services from the upper menu. Then select User Management System. You can log in with your username and password. On the home page, click on Upload a CSV list of your students. Then click on Choose File. Locate the file on your computer, select it, and then click on Open. Then click on Upload File. After it uploads, you will return to the home screen. To invite these students, click on Invite All Students with New Status. All new students entered into the system will start with a new status. The system will send an email invitation to all of your new students. The second method for entering your students is one by one. From your home page, click on Add a Single Student. Enter information for one student in the fields, first name, last name, email, and then select the number of courses in the pull-down. Then click on Submit. Note, you will then invite all new students as before. When you fill in the Courses Allowed field, if you enter zero, this will invite the student to his or her own home page. Then all courses can be purchased individually by the student with a credit card. Entering a number in this field requires a pre-purchase of courses from amenglish.com. Step 4. Now let's take a look at what the student will see. After being invited, students will have a home page where they can log in once and access all of the courses from one location. The student clicks on the link in the invitation email. The student enters a new password twice and then clicks on Reset Password. Whenever students want to log in to their home page, they can visit www.amenglish.com and click on the Student Login link in the middle of the page. They enter their username and password. On the student's first visit, if courses were allowed, then all are available to register. In this example, Two courses were pre-approved for this student. Once the student has selected courses up to the pre-approved limit, then all the other courses are always available for immediate purchase. The courses that were registered are always available from this location for entry. One login accesses all of the content. 
Here's what the student homepage looks like if no courses were pre-approved. Now, let's look at how to view student activity. After you log in to your account, just click on Reports, then select either Individual or Group. First, let's select Individual. Your active student's names will appear. If you click on any student name, after the data loads, all of that student's records will be displayed. You can click on Show Entries and pull the number down to 100 for a better view. After the student data is displayed, you can do a number of things with it. By clicking twice on the Date column, for example, all of the records will be ordered from newest to oldest. On the Reports page, if you click on the Group tab, after the data loads, your student's activity will appear. This data can be viewed in several ways. If you click on the Date column header twice, all of the student data will appear from newest to oldest. One click on the column header will organize the list from oldest to newest. To look at data on a single student, enter the name in the search box and then press Enter or Return on your keyboard. You can then organize the data for that person using the date column. You can search on any term. Recorded information on students includes the student, the product, which chapter was visited, the page visited, how long was spent on the page, Duration is listed in seconds. And if a score is available, it will be shown here, displayed in percent out of 100. To expand the number of records displayed, click here. The total number of records is shown here. To go to another page, click here. You can replay this slideshow as often as you like. Pause on any screen or go backwards and forwards using the controls at the bottom.